Does lightsaber battles save a bad, stupid, stupid writing episode with a bunch of dumb moments? I don't know. Uh... Because there were, look, give credit where credit's due. Best episode so far. Best episode so far. Yeah, there you not, go. <laughs> not saying much. <laughs> no. Not saying much, <laughs> considering, yes, I am not excusing this series. And I don't want to get mad at people who are excusing this series just because it's still not you worth see some watching. flashy lightsaber no. battles. You can see. That's not how it works here. Right. <laughs> Which you can't even see half of it is my problem. So maybe half cool lightsaber battles but don't get me wrong credit where credit's due yeah. there are some great moves uh that uh the stranger uh pulls off we'll talk about what we should name him uh smilo and, ren and oh my god disney did it i didn't fucking think disney would do this remember i was like look if they do it if they kill both uh, Yord and Jackie, which I did not think they would do, I would give you two extra points. I can't remember if I included Soul in there. I thought Soul might survive because he's such a sense. He's like the best actor in the series. But now my favorite character, guess who my favorite character is now? Smiley. Correct. <laughs> Kamir, or whatever his real name is, the stranger. Smilo, Ren. Uh, I hate it when people call him Darth Teeth. That's just a lazy, I hate that name. Um... I prefer Smiley, Smiley, Smiley Old Ren. That's good because it, it factors in. I think they even might have played some of uh, Kylo Ren's theme or something that sounded similar to it. Uh, but, yeah, like it said, let's let's give credit where credit's due. There's a few Shocker. good did moments. You, Shocker. Did you I didn't... know it was him? <sighs> the fucking reveal, Twist. Joe, was simultaneously disappointing but yet – a relief that they didn't do something stupider because the real star of that episode is fucking Manny's jacked arms. Yeah. Holy shit. I want, I want that. Joe, is that what you're working towards? Yep. Is that when you lift all them weights? Cause that shit. I looks... was uh, pretty upset. It wasn't Basil. Yeah, me too. And Basil's evil twin. Yeah. Unfortunately, Alex theory of Basil, uh, did not. Now, ba a Alex was going to give this episode a one. Zero. I said zero. zero. I said if zero. Basil but, uh, died. Uh, but he's safe. Thankfully, Basil is safe. That little yeah. crafty guy, uh, left when he he smells something's high. up though he does he's about to help even more Basil is probably the most the fact useful, that Basil but... has to help is okay all joking aside all joking aside um, terrible I'm sure the you know people who defend the show are like this is this is amazing this is superb and I'm I'm like what is your what frame of reference were you born yesterday and this is your first uh, Disney series okay. Uh, maybe, mm -hmm. but you have to consider that the budget is, guys. Close let me remind you, the budget is seventy million more dollars than Revenge of the Sith. That fucking film that's badass, that has some of the most badass lightsaber battles ever filmed. Seventy million dollars more than that. And this is what we get, lightsaber battles on par with maybe, at times, slightly on par with fan films. Y'all remember the fan films? Way back in the day, because that's kind of how I got my start in the whole filming. So, like, Art of the Saber, I saw Jeremy Johns mention. I was always a fan of Ryan vs. Dorkman. If you haven't seen these, go look them up on YouTube. They're some of the oldest videos on YouTube, like 12, the band 15 kid. years old. Fucking amazing. They're, those lightsaber battles, actually, Ryan vs. Dorkman is still a better lightsaber battle than what we got here. Uh, which is surprising. Um, guys, Wow. Still a poorly written show, uh, and just because there is a cool lightsaber battle or a half cool battle isn't going to redeem everything that came before, and even the stupid shit that occurs in this specific episode. But I still will give credit where credit's due. So there were legitimately cool moments in this one. What did you guys... And this is another really short episode. By the way, the last one was 27 minutes, some seconds. This one's 28 minutes and some seconds. So we are 
criminally short. It proving to me that the la- that last episode and how it fucking cut off there, they just took this episode and cut it into two. This should have been a single episode. Those yeah. two together would have helped yeah. both sides more. Uh, but they didn't decide to do that. So what did you guys think of uh, um, Night? Taking away all the the lightsaber stuff. I well, didn't like the editing. Yeah. Cause it, oh, the editing. Some, yeah, as soon as something huh. cool was going to happen, we switched to oh, May, yes. then we yeah, switched yeah. to somebody else, mm-hmm. and this and that. I and don't then, give a shit about OSHA's face or reactions. I want to see that. Yes. I hated that part, too. And then, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, May was like, I'm going to turn myself into the Jedi, and then Jackie shows up. Yes. like, hey, uh, look, I don't want to do anything. I just want to see OSHA, what... Take me in. She's like, nope, I'm going to fucking kill you. you yeah, May decides. She starts attacking so her. I was right, like, wait, Joe. what are you doing? You just had a change of heart, and then you have another change. This is the stupid moment yes. I was referring to. The writing, I don't understand how these people got into the writing me room. Me neither. It's like, Character just motivations changed. are so shit, and they're so muddy. And May is such a shit character. I, I don't understand. Loyalty, and uh, I'll, I'll compound that, Joe. So your loyalty is to your sister only. You're going to go against this master who you know can kill you. But at the end of the episode, you're just going to leave your sister to die on the fucking planet? Or maybe to die to the fucking master? What are you doing? What's going on with the story? I don't understand. This is just written so that it can get to the next part where, oh, well, wouldn't it be crazy if they fucking switch positions? Because twins, that's never happened. Identical twins have never been taking each other's. But shut the fuck up, Disney. These are space wizards that can read your mind. And one has a tattoo on. Soul? She has a tattoo on her forehead. Thank you. It's just like this doesn't. Joe, she, she why do we perfectly. have to remind you she of your own hair perfectly shit? With the lights Joe, that's what I was about to say. <laughs> you uh, smell that? You know what's so <laughs> it funny? Sounds like a dog uh, on fire. Carlos, my said brother, a long time ago. I forget what exactly he had. It was a spray, or spray, hairspray. They were sitting at the uh, dinner table and breakfast, and he lit a match and then did it, and it burned his hair. <laughs> That and, stinks. And it burned. And I will never forget the smell because it burned a lot of it. Yeah. And the smell hovered. It followed him around. If you've ever burned hair, you know that fucking shit smells. And it's so fucking stupid to pretend it's fucking that, stupid. It, that it just fucking it's perfect. It matches perfectly. It doesn't look like it's... Her pose was so good. I fucking love... Because she cuts her hair, and then she looks at the camera and, like, basks that, in the scene, and it's like, what the fuck the is happening? That's the cringe happen? from episode three. The power of one! Power of two! The, po- the power of many! <laughs> it's that You're not making the noises! Cringe. You have to make the noises. You have to make the noises. If I have to, yeah. you have to. So we're doing it again. Yeah, because that would just be the power of two. Episode. It can't be many without you. Stupid. That is true. Yeah. God. But yes, yeah, she's like, <sighs> and it's so dramatic. It's like, shh, stop it. I hated it. Fucking hated it. What is happening? Um, so honestly, besides the fucking lightsabers, everything else fucking sucked. Yes. The, the, the pacing on it, like it was switching to May, switching to Osha, and then the. Uh, the turnaround. I was like, "What the fuck are you doing?" Uh, You're like, "All I care about is my sister. My sister's alive. I'm here for." Oh, it. I know one other badass part. Other than Disney being like, "All right, you know what? Fucking, let's get some brutal deaths up in here." Yeah, some unexpected of brutal deaths. That yeah. was good. I'm, I'm tagging that on with the fights. Other shining spot was Jackie. I actually was impressed by Jackie this episode. Uh, she was a badass. Yes. She, she's drop kicking May. She's beating May in a fight when a previous Jedi died. She's squaring up to a fucking Sith and she's going fucking hard. I loved her unleashing yeah. for the short amount yeah, of time. Yeah, I'm tagging that she that got on to. with all the fights and stuff. Yeah. That was great. But other than that, everything else was fucking shit. Mm-hmm. So, hated, damn. Hated that. Yeah, I people know. thought we were gonna come here and and say this shit is good now because of a fucking fancy lights. No, yeah, that was cool, but like at the end of the day, we I, still uh, have to continue with these characters. I did a poll. Shit. Let me check the results of my poll, Alex. You wanna? Uh, yeah, I don't. I think the there were some great parts of this episode. I, I love seeing the lightsaber fights. I mean, it's it's good old fashioned Star Wars stuff. Yeah. The yeah. problem is it was too dark. They they wanted to use these specific actors versus people like. 
long trained stunt people that spent weeks, you know, figuring out the scene and instead they're just like, We'll just obscure it with trees, we'll do cutaways, oh, yeah. and we'll make it really dark. And we'll Disneyfy it because there was a decapitation or a fucking slicing in half that yeah. was covered by a tree. But then we did get cool stuff where he's just like he force pulls a dude into a lightsaber yeah. so he makes a, a, a Jedi kebab and so it's like, oh cool, I yeah. like this stuff. <laughs> like, when, Jedi kebab. Yeah, when he's <laughs> just come on. when he's mo when he's monologuing as the God. bad guy and when Soul's monologuing as the good guy, they had a great martial arts fight. And so like some of these things are really cool. And if we had started the series, I don't think I'd have like the sour taste in my mouth that makes me not even appreciate this episode all that much. But I mean, this there was some good stuff in here. Yeah, I think that uh, I think he's venomous. Um, Darth Venomous is so. Tenebris had Darth venomous? Tenebris had two um, at, people under him. It was, and then one of them died, and then he goes after Plagueis. Shit, man, this is going into lore that I didn't even know. So Fucking, I thought Tenebris was 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 uh, you know probably as far back as you want to go. But so you're saying there's somebody under ten, uh, Tenebris? Yeah, I would love that. It's a fuck yeah, because that and that name matches up. If you're going to tie it, look, listen, the only way I will accept this and can't at this moment, I'm like, this series is a, is art of the saber. This series is Ryan versus dork man on YouTube. This is a great fan film. Okay. Uh, what? Well, just this one. This episode. Lightsaber. Oh, battle. okay. This one lightsaber like, battle was a great <laughs> fan film. Uh, with this Sith who just shows up randomly with, you know, no context. Right. Or suppose it's, a, I think this is a confirmation that he's not a Sith. He and says if he is a Sith. Then I want it to be what Alex says. And by the end of this series, in order for me to consider this canon, he has to die. Yeah. So, for example, Tenebris fucking murders him for potentially exposing the real Sith. Mm -hmm. So he's like, you're just a fucking acolyte. And, it, it like, and then there's a vacancy and then, you know. Um... But, yeah, my poll, uh, will the hyped lightsaber fight between one dark side unit versus eight Jedi be satisfying on tonight's acolyte episode five or a huge letdown? 87.5% said it'll be a letdown. I think I think the fight itself was fine. I didn't. Yes. Actually, I mean, it's it's definitely the best part of the series. And I know even that's a low bar, but I I didn't watching it. I wasn't super mad at it the whole time. It's just the problem is I was is, mad at it at the beginning, and I think it slowly got better because we had like three or four separate sequences and yeah. fights. Then it makes up for it as it goes along. Yeah, the the soul and uh, yeah. uh, what is his name? Kim Kimley Kim Kim Jord. Jor no, Jord? no, not uh, Jackie. J no, the the bad guy. Oh, Smiley Smiley come here, come here. So the ah, he turned into me for a yeah. second. <laughs> no, I know I don't know his name, so I didn't want to use the wrong one. Uh, so he like there was the 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 all of the Jedi versus uh, Kamir's fight. Mm -hmm. Terrible, couldn't see anything. Yeah. It was actually so far in the distance that it's like that doesn't count. But the Jackie one on one with May was good. Uh, the Kamir Soul unarmed fight was good. Yes. The Jackie and mm -hmm. Soul fight against Kamir was good. Yeah. So like there was there yeah, was that's good. The, and there's a there's a moment where Soul fights him. With a saber that's good as well, and, yeah. And uh, the stranger is what the subtitles are calling him. Can't can't stand up. Yeah, we soul. get magical space metal that you know I know is in in canon where he can headbutt a lightsaber with this stuff to short out the lightsaber. Oh and yes, block it. did you notice that uh, that 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 was actually shorting out? Uh, and this is material from the legend uh, yeah. from from actual. It's just canon. It's. Uh, cort cortosis. Let me, so, let me look something it something up. like that. Uh, but so he's able to like headbutt uh, cortosis, hey. yeah, the lightsabers and like short them out. And it was cool. Yeah. And even dumbass Yord came in and grabbed the helmet off the ground. Mm. And so that stuff I thought was pretty good. But then we got stuff yeah, like Yord used it against him, but then got did, fucking jacked. Didn't matter. He got his Jacked head up. neck snapped, which is like <laughs> such a uh, bitch his way to broken, die. His arm broken first, then his neck snapped. Yeah, oh, man, Yord went out. That was brutal. The Yord Horde must be must be crying right now. Yeah, it's it's not good for them. Mm. Uh, but we have Soul go like I'm wearing this helmet because it's like Magneto's I helmet. I felt and more it, for Jackie it, when she died. Yeah. When it blocks your mind powers, yeah. and then his head helmet gets ripped off, and he, and doesn't, he read, doesn't use he the mind And he doesn't read his mind at all. Who are like, you? I don't understand. What kind of master? Does it was this? in the heat of the moment. He couldn't do it. Uh, yeah, I guess. Uh, I don't know. Um, but I, yeah, anytime that there were story elements. The problem is, I think that the person who designed the show episode by episode has, has done the show a massive disservice. Actually, straight up, I think failed. Because at the end of this episode, we don't know what any of the characters' main motivations are. And they seem really stupid. And if they explain it later, later I mean, sure. But right now, as the audience, we're looking at, it's like, 
Why would May swap out her clothes versus just yes. explain, she sit her sister down in. and explain her point of view? Characters not discussing important, life-changing things for the sake of driving a plot for it isn't good storytelling, in my it's opinion. It's literally my pet peeve. And so, because I hate those things so much, it's like, look, if you didn't want to design it as 30-minute episodes then you should have argued with Disney harder or something because th this isn't working for me as a no. person who wants to hear, like, well, I don't want to hear your story, but it's being forced to <laughs> listen to your story. A, a two, I, and I think a lot of this could be addressed a little better. It still has problems, but it would feel a little better if it was a two-part movie. You know what I mean? Because yeah. so far we have two hours. We have less than three hours of content in five episodes. And by the end of this, it's probably going to be less than four hours. So you can do a two-part movie. You can do one Zack Snyder film. <laughs> oh, my Ooh, would God. Would this be worse than Rebel Moon? Oh. Yeah. I was about to say no, but then I said, yeah, because what's the brand? This is Star Wars, my friend. You're doing this shit in Star Wars. Yeah, but I don't hold that. Like, like nobody gives a fuck about Rebel Moon yeah. and its universe. It's just a derivative if we have, piece of I shit. I just don't hold Star Wars on a pedestal here, anymore. This is worse. Okay. I mean, if so, this had come out 10 years ago, 20, 20 years oh. ago, yeah, but post-Obi-Wan, this is status quo. I, I mean, this could have gone... I, I, I went in this super, uh, like, you know, try to stay positive because, you know, we here, unlike other channels, we try to give each episode a fair shake and we want to like Star Wars, you know, so people... <laughs> You know, want to hate on everything and then kind of get yeah. Get I've into seen that. those comments. It's like if but you hate it, why do you keep watching it? It's, like, it's well, the, and I was worried <laughs> about the description. The description said the Jedi are put to the test in the description. And I was failed. like, oh, that means everybody's gonna survive. It was just <laughs> you know what I mean. But I was like, oh, thank God. Yeah, I was thinking little, like the main ones. So many people. But yeah, I was surprised about that. Um, Not about the reveal. <laughs> So I think we pretty much covered. Okay, and then uh, we did say Kamir uh, and uh, Smilo Ren, and his Smilo Ren identity was quite badass, uh, revealing the cortosis uh, material to short lightsabers. Uh, also, getting in Jedi's heads is what uh, your dimension. He gets in your head and he stays there. But they so told you using through fear. But they didn't. Perhaps show he's you. linked to those those sisters uh, that you know the the witch coven in some way. Learn that from them, or it's just the fear of fighting a, a Sith like person. Is he a Sith? I still think no. Uh, and. I'm going to go 70, 30, 70, no, 30, he is venomous, right? Is that his name? I think, I think that's what the other uh, ones are. A, a acolyte of, uh, you know, an actual Sith who's doing this without permission to murder his master and do whatever he wants. But I don't think he's a Sith. And then you say, well, why the red lightsabers? Well, you bleed a lightsaber. All you have to have to do is, you know, put your pain and rage and, you know, uh, negative feelings into it and then it could turn red. So something had to have Was happened in this plan? guy's past. Where does he get all this Take power? The trash. Where the fuck does he get the power to knock over eight fucking Jedi and handle eight Jedi? And I don't know if you noticed this and if this is just some awkwardness from the director and the writers. People, why do they have May and Osha just constantly falling into this fucking pile of... It happens like four times over this mega episode, right? Like five times. So maybe, and since he's an alchemist and a poison kind of guy, maybe when he does that force push and you see later on the dust material is in that kind of pattern when he force pushed it, maybe the, it'll slow the Jedi down and when they breathe it, but it was never conveyed. No. If it was conveyed, then you can be like, oh, wow. This not only are you fighting a fucking Sith going crazy, but you're also a little like that creates more fear and and just play that element up in in directing and and create that even sense of danger and tension and and they couldn't even get that right. Nope. Um, yeah. So, but uh, the bright spot for me was uh, Manny uh, is the actor who plays Kamir. Fantastic performance. 
already like his character way more because he's Me murdered too. all these stupid ass because he's, he's, he's an yeah. acolyte yeah. he's an that's he's what the, i wanted and it's like this, this is what i want i wanted more oh i love his dialogue with soul i love and i like i and now his helmet actually makes sense because his helmet's kind of like a smile and he you know he's like Oh hey, you know I like that that attitude of him, and I now like Kamir more than any other recent Disney evil side character they've come up with. I like Better him more than, than Reva. I like him more than uh, Fa Phasma, General Uncle Fester. Hux, Uncle <laughs> Fester, Disney's version of the Grand Inquisitor. Oh I like I like the Grand Inquisitor better, but Disney version of the Grand Inquisitor I don't like. Um, all of the Disney Inquisitors. I like them even better than Snoke, like you said. I like them better than General Pride. And Ron, DJ. what is it? Ronald McDonald? Yeah. Yeah, and I like them <laughs> better than Dryden Voss. That was the, the solo villain. Uh, really, the only two, there's two Disney ones that I do like better. Uh, Balin Skull. Like oh. Balin's way better. And, uh, I'd say Moff Gideon. I like I like Moff Gideon slightly better. He's right now, actor. if we go in depth into this guy, <laughs> and then I like uh, I actually like Kamir. It's I hate to say this. I like Kamir better than Disney's Thrawn. Yeah, yeah, because he uh, was, book like, Thrawn. No book Thrawn. They, I like better. Yeah, but this he is was, Disney's he didn't Thrawn. He's an idiot. Very threatening at all. Yeah, the witches were more threatening. So the good witches, not the bad witches. One of the coolest yes. <laughs> dark side moves he's using. I love his dialogue. I love his attitude. I love that his motivation is because I want to. You know what I mean? I'm, that's what the dark side wants to do. He just wants to fucking do whatever the fuck it wants. But I hope there's more, <clears throat> more to this. Uh, it's just like y'all said, everything else is gobbledygook. It's, it's really bad writing. Writing yourself... To the point that you already wanted to be. I, I don't know how to put it into words. It's I, a very contrived. Yeah, I mean, the plot is... Things happen because the plot requires things to that, happen. That's, that's and what so, it is. And then, so what I had a problem is, is like there's some really supposed to be impactful moments. The Jedi yeah. that are here find out that after hundreds of years, mm -hmm. the Sith have not been extinct. Right. There's, and there's no impact there's no to that impact. moment whatsoever. Yeah. And Jedi have no. been training their entire fucking lives to avoid... Oh, they read about it. They, they read, know about well, it. Well, they also... Every single day, it's like, no, no fear, no anger, no no any of those things because it leads you to the dark side of the Force and the dark side of the Force leads you to the Sith. Mm -hmm. You know they talk about this boogeyman yeah. forever because they've been avoiding turning the into Republic. that. There yeah. were massive wars. Yeah, and so it's like, it would be absolutely absurd. It would be like someone like, oh, I'm a unicorn. And like the unicorns have been your sworn enemy for that, you would there what would be impact to that moment, <laughs> and so there was just no impacts to some of these moments. The fighting moments, I was actually so disappointed when Yord tells he's like he gets in your head. And it was like holy shit, are we going to show him like That's doing something? cool shit to a Jedi and then like cutting his head off? No, because it was right. done behind a tree in the dark. Or are we going to do venomous poison and, nah. and showing that he's <laughs> adding a that. new dimension to dark side combat? It would no. be awesome. Stabs and then and so it's like we do get some. <laughs> cool stuff and I don't want to diminish that too much but yeah. it's just like this was an opportunity for them to really finally do major impact impactful scenes where at least I cared maybe I mean there's people yeah. on the internet defending it right now in the comments oh, I thought it was amazing but I do yeah I agree um, but I do think a lot of people are coming together and realizing that you know whatever side of the political spectrum you're on this this show's writing is terrible and I really hope Disney gets that message and it's not just, oh, uh, you know, the haters and trolls and, and uh, sexists and phobes and things are the ones that are telling us that these, this sucks. And, and well, I'm hello, I'm here. I'm none of those things. I'm you know relatively progressive. Uh, you know, you could have done something I think better. Like the writing in this show is shit. So are you gonna lump me in with all of those other people? No, because we has like nothing to do with. We liked Rogue One, and yeah. that was a female-led one. That was a that was a good written written one. Yeah. Well. Okay. Um, no? You like it? I liked Rogue One a lot. Yeah, I did like it. Um, I was just saying, is it female led? Yeah, mostly. It also has Diego in it, but yeah. Um, anyways, uh, I, like I said, I, I well, I think we pretty much covered yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, Basil is about to reveal. Like it's just so stupid that Soul takes her on the ship. So. Soul cannot transmit a signal to the council. So May has to kill Soul 
you know, as he's going to tell the story because he thinks it's Osha or something and she's going to kill him or something or the uh, Basil's going to come in and be like, that is not who you think it is because uh, Pip doesn't have her scent because he smells Pip and he's, he's confused at this. So I just he would have her it, scent, though, because she's wearing her clothes. They're not leaving the planet. They're not leaving the planet. Yeah. Or, or Soul is not leaving the planet and Soul is not getting communication out. And the fact that they haven't already done long range communication, uh, you know, I saw somebody say, hey, I've read the High Republic novels. And in this time period, long range communications a little shittier than it was in the, the current lore. So I'm like, OK, sure. if that's true, I don't know if that's somebody stretching to yeah. really kind of get that. Let us know if you've you've read some of the High Republic stuff. But, yeah, it, it's just some good lightsaber fights. And this is what we've actually said about the series so far. Some of the fights are good. Mm -hmm. Okay? They're not excellent. And, and at the high level that we've seen in Star Wars before, where people are fucking training for months, where motherfucking Hayden Christensen and goddamn, uh, you know, Obi-Wan Kenobi... Um, Ewan McGregor had to fucking train forever, and that's what you have to do. If you're taking this shit serious, that's what you have to fucking or do. Or make all of the Jedi aliens with masks and just get stunt people. And, like, and stunt people and just, do it And just do it from the... the, the, the well, because Jackie, the, the, the actress, wasn't always doing her own stunts. One Jedi like was killed off screen. We don't even see him. That bearded guy. Yeah. Is, I was like, <laughs> he's just dead. I'm like, God damn it. He got force pushed Why do we have to go from that fucking perspective about OSHA's perspective? I don't care about OSHA. Yeah. I don't care about OSHA. Let's give it a final verdict, and then we'll go into the final episode verdict. breakdown. I'm going to give this a four. It's uh, got those extra points, obviously, because of the fight. The main story, I don't care about. The edits, I don't care about. Uh, yeah, it was kind of dark to see, but the main plot, it's still there. Yeah. The, the only points I could give it, honestly, just for the cool fights. Yes. That's uh, let me break it down for you. Episode one and two, we wrapped into one and we gave it a five out of 10, but I'm going to break it out now. Five out of 10 for the first one, four out of 10 for the second one. Even though the second one had a better fight than the first one, it still had story problems that started to appear. One out of 10 for episode three. Episode four, we gave a three out of 10 too. So you just gave four out of 10? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I think mine were a little bit lower. Yours were, yeah, yeah, I think both of you. Alex, what are you thinking? Uh, I think I gave one of the first two ones a four, so I think I'll give this one a f I don't want to give it a five, because this feels... Is it the best episode It is so the best episode. Yeah, and it's like, honestly, like, uh, let's, let's admit that. I would say that, yeah, like, honestly, is. if you break down because the 29 if you take minutes... Because Jackie and Kamir, they and Sol, they hold this thing up and the fight. Yeah, it's like half of this episode was the fight, it felt like. Yeah. I mean, the other half is the stuff that so I, I, default, I did like. And so it's like, I feel like this one is... The best of a bad batch. Um, yeah. And so I think probably a five. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think there was a lot of interesting fight things. But anytime characters were talking that wasn't Kamir and Soul, I, I was wanted just... to stab my brain. Uh, exactly. Yeah, That's just... why I couldn't give it to a five. Because yeah. like, I don't understand. You just said moments ago, you're here for your sister. I'm going to give myself up. He's like, no, I'm going to fucking kill All you. All these things need to so make sense. It doesn't. And if they're like, but Joe, just wait until the whole end of the series. It's like, no, then don't release it like this, number one. Or number two, have it plant more seeds in the beginning so that we don't be, get strung along like this every fucking time. These, these better be the most amazing final three episodes ever. And I don't think that's happening. All right. Yeah, you can catch whiffs of when something is, is brewing towards something that looks interesting. And I think everything that we're going towards is stuff that actively makes me mad. So... <laughs> Um, I, I do think that a lot of the storytelling stuff is like one or two, and then some of the fights are like seven or eight. So if I just kind of add them together, and I'm I'm still gonna say five. But this is coming from a person who's completely <clears throat> numb to Star Wars. I do not. When like, are you a fan of Star Wars? No, no longer am I a fan of Star yes. Wars. And we, you were a fan of. I Star was. Wars I mean, there's I parts of things that I still love. Like, like I'm rich, looking for, rich, rich Evans. Yeah, it's like there was a bunch of stuff that I used to like, but it's like when more of the content is bad. It's like I used to be a fan of Transformers. I did. I used to love watching Beast but Wars in the morning with my buddy Tommy. Yeah. And I, but we're not a fan anymore. And that one is not because they fucked it up. It's just because we. Or, I mean, a lot of those movies were bad. You. I don't they like a lot of those movies. Yeah, like the last couple. The last couple, last couple ones were really bad. Real bad. 
Oh, I erased those whole things no, from my yeah, mind. They're fucking well, bad. The Transformers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like you take these things that I used I to like, and cartoons. then now it's like, no, I'm, I don't. I don't consider myself a modern fan of Star Wars because I think the majority of stuff out of it. is it. Well, I, I I hope to think that that's not true. I just think that <laughs> they're not. They don't care about. Writing for I, 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 yeah, the the writing is bad, and uh, but we'll have to look at. I, I, I don't know, man. So I agree with you, Joe. Uh, <clears throat> and you gave it a five. I I agree. This is the best episode of the series. Yeah. So I was going to give it a five. However, I did. Pre- I'm a man of my word. I previously committed two plus points if you killed all the Jedi. So you're giving it a three, Jedi. right? Nope. I'm giving two extra points. So I'm giving. Uh, I'm giving it a. <laughs> Or I was agreeing with Joe at a oh. four out of ten because there's so much story problems Kevin. that I'm adding two Kevin. points. I did the math no, wrong. No, no. Six okay. out of ten, and this is the so highest I no. could possibly <laughs> give it at this thing, and it's graded on a curve because you did the thing that I didn't think that you had the courage to do. So, um, yeah, six out of ten, uh, graded on a curve, the best of the series so far. Uh, I really did like. I do like Smilo Ren now. I, I really do like the Khmer character. I think Manny has put in a great performance. His fucking arms are the star of the show. His dark side moves are fucking cool. Um, and I'm it, interested to yeah. see what is his backstory? How did he become so powerful? Why did he reveal himself? It's because he says, I want an acolyte. So is this, <clears throat> you know, why? Why do you want an acolyte? Because I want to do what I want to do. It's like, okay... But this is leading to somewhere, right? And I'm conflicted. Part of me wants to be like, no, he's not really a Sith. It doesn't have to lead anywhere. It's just a side splinter Jedi, and he just fucks around, and then they cover it all up so that it doesn't link to Darth Tenebris, Plagueis, and Sidious because fuck this shit. Don't touch that shit. You know what I mean? Because you're, you're, you're taint, you'll taint it. But then part of me does want to be like, oh, it would be cool if he was one of Tenebris's, you know, acolytes or, uh, you know, apprentices, and he was trying to overthrow Tenebris, and by the end, uh, you know, he's he's returning home, and it's a dark fucking corner, and all of a sudden, <laughs> like the real fucking, and he's like, how dare you jeopardize all my plans? Mm-hmm. And it's a fucking alien-looking Tenebris or um, Plagueis. That would... I, I would give two points again. Yeah, I think they're trying to link things together. I mean, we got force healing in this episode. We got a mm-hmm. bunch of stuff where they're trying to like mesh everything. That together. was really weird. Yeah, I don't know if that's force healing. I thought it kind of was. I was gonna. Why ask. is she injured right there? There's she at fell no down. point. Back. Yeah, but why is it a little hole and and blood in? Because she fell down no. and scraped herself. Bruh. Yeah, I wouldn't put it past these writers <laughs> and his action choreographers. All right, anyways, so six out of ten. Let's go into the episode breakdown. This series is it's it's fucking it's a train wreck, and I I am not gonna lie, I'm kind of excited every week to see how how they fuck things up and what these writers do with the keys to the castle that they shouldn't have. You know what I mean? It's, I just want to see Smiley Ren uh, kill more more Jedi. It's not canon for me anymore. Um, and so then I can have fun with it. Uh, all right. So I don't care about Osha's point of view. She wakes up on the ground. She notices one dead Jedi who fucking died off screen. Yet another off screen yeah. death. We, it's as you know, if it wasn't bad enough already. This, the it's letting you Jedi. know this is serious. It's very serious. Yeah. The shit has already gone down. And... Uh, yeah, and then we get this scene of him fighting Jedi behind trees, and the Jedi, if you slow it down, the Jedi just let him walk past them. Like, they're each attacking him in turn, and then they just kind of walk off, and they don't really come back. One, yeah, I see Yord comes back, and he, he got knocked off again, but others don't really, there's eight of you, what are you doing? He's in their heads, Joe. They just didn't show you and, that he's in their heads. And it doesn't make sense, because this entire fight, when you need everybody... There's soul is nowhere to be found. Jackie is nowhere to be found. She's what the looking, fuck? She's looking the for The two be- best fighters are just say, yeah, yeah, go fucking die. All y'all fucking die. Later on, I'm going to go, Wah! you know, fucking, you know, Jedi kick. And then soul comes out of nowhere with a Jedi block. It's like, this is just writing convenient. I hate this shit. I hate this shit. <laughs> um, 
anyways, he walks past the Jedi's, but we do have like five seconds of cool lightsaber battles. I like it when he smashes their fucking yeah. heads uh, or their sabers with the uh, cortosis. Uh, and it's really cool that they're bringing stuff uh, from obscure lore or legends or canon that not many people know about. But I, I can already see people typing, well, then why don't everybody make the armor out of this material you know they, no, uh, don't worry about it it's nobody knows gar, it's the best guard problem it's like okay. you don't have there's not a lot of it there's not a lot of it it's and gonna be rare and nobody if, knows about it yet yeah. except for a few people so anyways their lightsabers are damaged because at first i thought he had chopped them off yeah but no me too. they're just uh they won't ignite and then they now ignite. functioning yeah and then they go and great moment here. He kills a uh, fake Plo Kloon, uh, you know, stabs him through. And he, I will give another credit. So remember, we, you know, never let it be said that we are unfair to series. This series makes lightsabers deadly again. Thank you. Because previous Disney series, you get fucking stabbed with a saber. And you're like, oh, I'm all right. That's, Next day, don't worry a little about wound. It. A little. <laughs> Stitch that up, we're oh, good. Yeah. Oh, well, not that big of a deal. Reva got stabbed twice and, yeah. and lived. <laughs> once as a child and yeah. once as uh, just stupid. And uh, this makes them deadly again. And never make that mistake again, Disney, please. I hope so. I swear to God, if Jekka is still alive, if one of the fucking Jedi who was slashed and killed is shown later on in the next episode no when the Jedi come to investigate or cover th shit up and they bring a back to tank, I am going to give it a fucking zero. Your, a fucking your, one. Yours your, your alive and his, like, his head is just constantly over there and he's like, what's up, guys? Well, when, Turned out it in my brain anyway. <laughs> when Smilo Ren picks up his helmet uh, at the very end, he actually walks past and the two people he walks past is Jackie. She's fucking motionless and dead. Well, she got and your three times. Yeah. And he is fucking done. That's <laughs> yeah, fucking sweet. Oh, I love that little yeah. dagger. That yeah. Sith Pr dagger. Like prison shank. Yeah. Dagger <laughs> lightsaber is so this cool. Like, like a, he had like a dual one, right? Yeah, yeah that but was it was a little, sweet. little small one at the end. Love it. Still love we, it. We can admit when things are cool. Yes. So this was a cool moment in an otherwise shitty show so far. Yeah. Okay. Uh, for Let's see. The then we cut away. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then what we, do we cut, cut away to? to OSHA. Oh, I fell down. Pip, where are you, Pip? <laughs> Stop Gotta it. go look for Pip. Stop it. Pip's very important. We like, have to go find no, Pip. No, go back to the fucking fight. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so. Soul uh, force throws him. Head tilt. He does a little head tilt when he looks at Soul. I guess he's... He's very curious with Soul. Let's not forget that it's actually this guy's plan to kill very specific Jedi. Mm. Well, it might be May and his plan. I don't know. It may or his or he, is his he tailor made the plan for yeah. May. Like, prove yeah. yourself by killing these four so people. Does he that really want to kill these four Jedi? Or he you know May does. So that's her trial to be his acolyte. So he doesn't really care about the Jedi. But he is fascinating with Sol. Sol. Uh, maybe he can sense darkness. Maybe he can sense, like, what did you do with your darkness? I'm embracing mine. How, why are you hiding yours? That kind of stuff. Um. And then he does a head tilt. And then we cut to credits. So literally the first four minutes of the show and then it's over. I thought. And I was like, oh, thank God it's not. You know, because I thought that was going to be the battle and that was it. But there are more fights throughout. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So we got the Soul and Zipperhead battle uh, where he is kicking. You, you can see Soul is getting the better of him. We cut away to... May running away, even though she's like, I want to turn myself into the Jedi, and she's kind of a good fighter herself. We've seen all of her fucking force kung fu. She doesn't help yeah. them, which would in, in grace her to them and be like, well, thank you for helping, you know. Uh, she just fucking takes off. I guess because the the master does have the intent to kill her, but before then she doesn't even have the motivation to help the Jedi, even though she said, I'm going to turn myself into the Jedi. Doesn't make sense. So she's running away, and boom! She gets fucking jump kicked out of nowhere from Jackie. And I'm like, what? <laughs> Jackie, where were you the whole time? All your friends are dead. Why did you let them die? She For this cool scene. She got knocked out. Or... I... <laughs> For this cool scene. I... Are they going to do an episode six where we get a different angle? No, and we no. get to see 
uh, from May's point of view instead of Osha, who is knocked out, and we see Soul go, okay, you, you six, fight them. I'll go after Osha and Jeki go after May. That would be the only part that makes sense, an explanation for why they left. He didn't respect the Sith enough. But that makes no sense. He's like, Osha, run. He knows this is, if you don't stop that motherfucker, you need your best fighters there. It just doesn't make sense. No, we got to send Yord away. He's like, Yord, you take this civilian oh, and, ra- that. Yeah, and run yeah. away. And it's like, you civilian, take- go. It's like, what? What? Uh, the master, uh, how, what kind of master hides his face from his pupil? He's like, you tell me. Because... I guess he knows. He knows what he's done in the past, uh, and he he's hiding himself. And I, as I predicted, uh, Soul never gets to tell Osha what the what really happened, because she's left on the planet, and he's about to tell May what really happened, and May may already know. I don't. Hopefully, know. he knows it's May, and it's just one of those Please. things. Because if they do the thing where Basel has to let him know, then then like it's bangs, gonna happen. bangs it's are really no, going to do a disservice to Soul's character. It's yeah. covering it. So it's like bangs shouldn't be covered. Well, also, <laughs> he'll, he he'll, he'll he's a mind c- like reading Jedi. Like you'd think, because like you, we know that uh, the Kamir knows that it's Osha. Like fucking tattoos there, yeah. and like the wounds are different. Like we, like, yeah. but uh, he can't take soul, but yet he can take seven Jedi at once, six Jedi at once. You know what? I'll ju- I'll allow it because those are fucking chump ass Jedi, and they're scared of a Sith, and they freaked out. Well, Whatever. That's... But uh, I just wanted to mention it. Yeah, I mean that's the entire purpose of the rule of two yeah. was that the you know you it's powerful. like you you get really powerful and the Jedi had gotten fat and happy with no no true enemies yeah. and so that there are a lot of really shitty low level Jedi running around mm. like Yord who turned out to be a giant bitch and got his neck snapped and so <laughs> hey Alex back off a little bit I'm gonna give this man a little bit of respect he 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 went back he's Osha, a... Osha sentenced him to death yeah you know uh, and he tried and he made a good effort and. Rest in peace, Yord. Definitely rest in peace, Jackie. She went hard. Jackie went hard, yes. I appreciate it. I think Jackie could have taken Yord in a fight. He gets... Oh, yeah, she could have. He gets (laughs) um, in your head and stays there is a somewhat excuse for his strength and overwhelming. Um, I think we don't need an excuse for how he overwhelmed Six Jedi, but if you want one, it is... Uh, he has powers from uh, the witch coven, maybe that he learned, or he was using some of the poison. That would have been nice to see. Would have been nice to see some of this stuff. But uh, we'll go with Alex's explanation because that weren't works. Like too. he didn't have to be a wizard and like yell what he's casting. Just show us something cool, <laughs> right? And lightning bolt. Then I'm gonna do this. <laughs> it's, deep. it's not yeah. Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Gully Cotton. Uh, get, um, you gotta call out your moves, baby. <laughs> yeah, I li- I like it when people do. I'm I'm like like that in anime uh makes no sense other than disney sense that he doesn't kill jackie so initially he jackie really goes off on him and and he gets a little bit but then he starts winning against jackie knocks her down and is about to take her out but then he goes this is a padawan you can learn from you know she has loyalty and it's like man at that point we're not we're not teaching lessons we you you're gonna kill your your he's acolyte toying with her, yeah. i guess yeah. he's toying with people yeah. but still um a let's see he breaks her saber uh but she has the wookie saber last minute that she got that was a cool moment and then she ignites her second one uh, which turns on and then she gets the upper hand i love that she's holding her own um Initially, you know, when you're watching, I'm like, how is she holding her own against this guy who, you know, just finished off six? I don't care. As I watch something, my opinion changes and I'm like, fucking go, Jackie. I'm glad she used a little bit of the dark side. In my opinion, she used a little bit of her anger. And that's what actually ultimately gets her killed. If you watch it again, she goes, ah, and she's attacking with anger at that last second. It's like three frames of her kind of dropping her guard and going like that. It's like if she would have just continued on the defensive, I think. If you got the scene before this, though, yeah, the important one, May and Jackie. She's like, "You're under arrest." You're reading her Miranda uh, yeah, rights yeah. while yeah. her friends are dying. Yeah, so, she's uh, arresting her, and she's like, "Oh yeah." So May the lady who wanted to be arrested gets mad that she's being arrested and attempts to kill Jackie. 
She tries to kill I'm Jackie. I'm tired of killing. No, I'm going to kill her, though. I will kill her. One, though. then I'm done. <laughs> my only loyalty is to my sister. Is that my sister? <laughs> Explain. Explain. And then she abandons her own plan. Explain, de de defenders. Explain, people who I've seen said the episode is superb. It explain to me. Hey, Supreme. It will be explained in episode six, yo. Because she she could have just been like, okay, I'll, I'll go quietly. Jackie would have arrested her. Bam, she's in custody. I Done. think she should have helped. She could have avoided really the fight. To, yeah. Um, I do like the scene where all the bugs are off the trees. I'm like, yes, let's pay this off. Thank you. Okay, so that makes more sense because it's like. I just felt so like cheap and unused, and it's because this isn't two episodes. This is one fucking episode. Um, <clears throat> it's a good moment, and it's tense, scary, good setup, and uh, you know the stranger is chasing her coward. Uh, you are going to betray me. Uh, you're weak. You've always been weak, and he uh, right about to kill her, and that's when my fucking soul uh, stops it, and both. Soul and Jackie combine for him, and this is an actual good fight, and I liked it. A lot of uh, speed and and control, and and also uh, it's awesome. As he continues to try to kill May, he's still, uh, he's fighting the two best, and he's still like, eh, stop it. <laughs> um, yeah, and then try to turn uh, whisper to Osha she knows they will lose oh so she does the force dyad thing yeah may because she's like seeing this and she's like they're gonna lose so that's when she calls out to her and she says she's tried we have to go help them multiple times before no Jackie's a Jedi she can handle herself no soul told me to do this I have to do this I'm injured whatever and then finally she's like they're gonna die and he goes oh okay yeah. <laughs> let's come back <laughs> Look, Yor uh, had he was he's the straight laced dude, and if he had the first time he decides not to be straight laced, he, he gets his fucking neck snapped <laughs> yeah. like a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the fight gets good here. Jackie goes super aggressive. Zipperhead reveals double sabers, and boom. That was sweet. Psh, psh, psh. Really like that. Yeah. Love that moment. Uh, killing her. Wow, wow. I didn't expect that. Nice job, Disney. Is what I wrote here, so we can give credit where it is. It is revealed to be the only person it could have been. It is simultaneously uh, disappointing and a relief that they didn't do something stupider. Uh, Again, like I said, I was more surprised that they killed the Jedi than the reveal. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was almost surprised that they fucking telegraphed so hard that it was him in the last episode. You didn't need to do that. Um, I guess they're making a show for babies. I, I don't know. Uh because it could have been just a better reveal with with that. Yeah, it might have worked, but if this was a two part movie, then then we wouldn't have weeks to theorize and stuff like that. So it'd been a slightly better, but it's still it's still telegraphed quite a bit. Mm -hmm. And then we got a major reveal: the yeah. reveal that the Sith are not extinct. What? No, we didn't. I I just I don't think his confirmation that he's a Sith is an actual confirmation at all. Uh, so I think they leave it open into interpretation whether he's a Sith or not at this moment. Maybe these next three episodes an can hard confirm it. <laughs> you may call me. I have the exact line. I'll get there when he says it. But um, he does ask him, why risk discovery? And he goes, well, I did wear a mask. <laughs> and I like that. I like, I like this. I like this. I like his character. I like his dialogue here. Um... Yeah, and then he's about to kill May yet again, and then Yord comes to save the day with the helmet, smacks it, uh, his red saber off, and then in another surprise move, he's outmaneuvered, broke, broken hand, and fucking brutalized, and neck snapped. Holy shit. Holy shit. Bold, realistic, and I instantly like Quimir now. Um... Then we get a lightsaber fight between, or no lightsaber fight, I'm sorry, uh, because Soul's lightsaber was also turned off. So we have a Soul versus Quimir in hand to hand combat, kung fu style, and I fucking loved it. And by this time, Soul is pissed. You've killed his Everyone. former uh, Padawan who became a knight and his current Padawan. And trying to kill the two sisters that, you know, he feels for. And he beats the shit out of uh, um, Quimir. And just as he's about to lop his head off, 
Oh, Osha's like, no, don't. Shut up, Osha. Just shut up. Why? I wanted him to, to do that. But he's a Jedi, and Jedi don't decapitate unarmed. Because remember, Anakin crossed the line. I shouldn't. You know. So they have to save He's that cool. moment for Anakin. It again. is way cooler to cut the arms and legs off your former Padawan and leave them on the edge of a lava pool, and then you assume that they they die and slowly burn to death. That's way more Jedi. <laughs> Killing someone who's murdered a bunch of other Jedi, not Jedi. Well, he was still armed. And he was he definitely. Did a, he had, he he had no arms. He I saw it. He had no arms and no legs. Right. He, he de-armed him and defeated him. Right. He still had a saber in his hand. He was armed. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he should have put a saber down, and then wouldn't have happened. But um, Osha puts Pip on Kamir's back, and this is how they uh, defeat him. The bugs attack him because she ran over with the bugs following her, and they lift him and carry him off. And in that moment, since we didn't see him die, I know the law of Star Wars says that he's still alive, and he's going to be free to return at any moment. I just didn't expect it to be this episode. Later on, they show up. But we're not there. Got a scratch on him. Yeah. No mention of Kumir's master. They never mentions anything. So there's a possibility that there is no Darth Plagueis, no Darth Tenebris in this story. Maybe he has no master and he's just working independently, splintered off, doing what he wants to do. And he says, yeah, you may call me a Sith. But uh, she says, uh, and then um, we get the scene between the two sisters. As a, the, stupid. a stupid scene because she's like, you started the fire. And May doesn't even answer. She says, they brainwashed you. And I'm like, no! <laughs> you... Going back, they didn't show her actually start the fire. So the only way Disney makes this work is that in the flashback, flashback. she you know, is crying and is about to start the fire and then decides not to. But then the fire is started by the Jedi or somebody else. That's the only way this works. She could have used words and ended everything here. Yes. Use your words. <laughs> no. I love you. Don't choose the Jedi again. Or I you just told me that you would kill, kill you. Me. Or I will kill you <laughs> <Yeah>. again. <laughs> they hug. And, but she tries to arrest her. Unfortunately, Stupid Osha does have very good fighting skills, may overpower her. She's a mechanic. Her. No, what is it? Minic. So she doesn't yeah, have I forgot the training. what it was called. But yeah, it's she not doesn't mechanic. have the training like she uh, May does. So. Right. So then she knocks her aside, somehow gives her a boo-boo on her side, which I don't understand how it comes there. Uh, and then May cuts her hair to pose like Osha. And, um, and she poses. She does the stupid ass That pose. needs to be the that thumbnail because, yeah. man, it's such a stupid fucking I'm looking scene. Leave. Yes, thank you. That's a good idea. Uh, May cuts her hair to pose like Osha. We actually see Quamir prevail against the bug. And he's, you know, he falls. And uh, Basil comes into the frame too quick. <laughs> or maybe he just doesn't care about Basil. Because he's literally on the frame when Basil comes in. Oh, I found um, a pip. And I'm going to go mm -hmm. give it to um, Osha. Uh, he's still alive. Sol wakes up. And Osha, who's playing as May. Uh, or May, who's playing as Osha. Uh, he can't tell. Can't censor. Can't smell the burnt hair. Can't see the stupid haircut. I guess she's a pretty good barber <laughs> in a single swipe. Yeah. Uh, it's not how it works. It's not how it works. <laughs> not how it works. Uh, we must get, she goes, she goes, where's your sister? Uh, or she's like, where is she? And she goes, who? It's like the stupidest dialogue here. Your sister. Oh, she's gone. We must get to this shit. What do you mean she's gone? The whole thing is going after her. So why would it be like, okay, let's go. go. We need to find her. Yeah. She's gone. I, I'm Explain! just Explain! Expand on she's gone. You can't just say she's gone. Did she leave in your eyesight? Take Which direction did she go? Off? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> what do you mean she's is gone? she dead? He better know. Like, and she goes, we must get yes. to the ship. Here, let me help you. She I says. agree. He, he better know to. immediately. He like, needs. immediately. And the, I want that to be the case. Yeah. But then it would make him an asshole. Because he's leaving OSHA. Well, he pretend, yeah, unless he thinks that the the bad guy has it and they just need to get out. So I don't know. 
That forest will kill Osha. Osha is not a trained fighter. That's fucked yeah. up if he's leaving her behind. I am so curious how Disney's going to fuck that up. Um, instead of asking more questions, he is just stupid. No, characters basically. are not allowed to talk to each other. Right. Even though it's a three-hour walk from the forest back to their ship that they make. And then it ends with Basil nice knowing what... Nice weather we have here, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a, a communicator on this ship? They better be going to use it right now. <laughs> Uh, Basil knows uh, what's up, and uh, Zipper gets his helmet again, and then he kind of does this weird look, but it could not be Force Heal. He could just be like, I don't know, what is he doing here? Because it, it, it's I such a it was, it, was a, it was to a wound, so yeah. I imagine he's Force Heal. Because again, I, they're trying to correct shit. I don't shit. hear anything. It doesn't, there, nothing is healed. Nothing is, there's no effect. That it's, to save, it's really that bad. That's to save the, the money. What money?! This is seventy they million dollars they more out, they than cut, Revenge of the Sith. But it's twice cut out as long. They the Wookiee fight because of budget, so they need to cut the uh, the, <laughs> the healing CGI thing the because healing of budget. Because of budget. Where did the budget go? Into the pockets of Leslie Henning or what's her name? Leslie. Leslie. I'm combining two different names. I don't know her name. Oh, yes. I hate it. <laughs> I, I like parts of it, but I hate yeah, it. Yeah, that's why it's like I can't. A horrible can... show can still have badass parts to it. So, anyways, six out of ten, and only because I promised two points if they killed Jackie and Yord, which I didn't think Disney would do, but they did. Maybe Yord's alive, though. <laughs> they better not be. Yord's dead. Yord's fucking It'd be weird. <laughs> Scared um, to make brace on him next time. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> yeah, that was close. <laughs> what? Uh, Joe's right. Why does May change her mind again uh, about turning herself into the Jedi? Is it... And then she's going to kill Solo? The... It's like, wait, why did she change her mind? Yeah. Does that red dust slow the Jedi down? Why do they keep showing it over and over? Why does she keep falling in the red dust <laughs> over and over? What is that? And it shows all over the leaves, too. Oh. I don't like how they use the tree. They Disney-fied that so that you don't see the decapitation. It's like, man, just fucking do it. It's Disney. Uh, yeah, it's not like going on normal TV, so it doesn't have to be PG. All right. But it is written for children, so, I mean, I imagine they've got to depict things in a way they think the kids... Did you notice how, you know, he's doing this Magneto-like helmet, right? And and we already talked about that, but once his helmet gets knocked off, Soul doesn't get into yeah, his head. Yeah, that's what he like, said. Yeah, I, uh, like, how come he didn't do it? I don't know. Yeah, if you make mention that you can't do something and then they re like they remove the obstacle and then they don't do it, it's like, okay, well, just shut the fuck up next time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Those bugs are called the Umbra Moths. So the Umbra Moths carry them off and transport them. Very friendly of them. It's like, we know where they don't uh, seem Osha to attack is. him. We'll take you to Osha. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank I mean, you, do they creatures. They not have stingers. Then Why is like, he completely nin, unharmed? Nin, 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 nin. You're fixed. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have liked that better. I mean, that, I can already see it. That, that looks cool in my head. <laughs> it's like those Jedi were assholes, right? Yeah, man. I they, killed, they killed some of my friends. <laughs> yeah. I like that better. All right. Anyways, the only canon ending I'll accept is if Smilo Ren is outed as a fake Sith and struck down by Darth Plagueis or Darth Tenebris at the very, very end in the epilogue for potentially exposing them and because his motivation was because I want to. I want it. This is why. That's why I'm. And doing once it. again, I don't care about the characters, and you're making the only one I care about seem stupid. But maybe they'll fix Soul? it. Soul. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe they'll fix it. Next. Maybe they'll fix it. Maybe they'll fix it. Maybe they'll fix it. <laughs> maybe they'll. Every, next episode. Else maybe they'll fix it. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling we're gonna get to the end. Fix it already, goddamn it! <laughs> they're not gonna <laughs> fix it. And I think Leslie has mentioned in an interview. Oh, I'm leaving this up into interpretation. Like she thinks it's fucking cool or something. Well, we still have to get the the uh, force or the lightsaber whip. So Green Lady's got to get in there. Green Lady's got to get in there. And it looks like she's on the planet. There has to be a Jedi. Did you notice how fucking Soul just leaves all these Jedi bodies and fucking d sabers on the ground? So no, the Jedi are definitely coming to the planet. That'll be a cover up. Why she whips out her pink lights saber in the forest. Maybe they, Maybe she doesn't go back there. I don't fucking know. She, I mean, there's got to be a cover up. I mean, I imagine, be a cover. I imagine one of the Why final she scenes. she out her lightsaber, though? Yeah, well, because uh, there's probably May. The bugs. May or... Oh, Stranger's still there, right? He's he, he got back up, and he walks in the forest, so he might still be around. Or Soul could be like, I need to go tell the council, and she's like, no. 
and this mm. is where they're they're doing the full thing where the, oh, no where one wants evil? where well that it's cool. a perversion of the Je- the whole series seems to be like the showrunner wants to say well maybe the Jedi are evil mm-hmm. um, and then that's how they do it where she's got to do yeah. the cover up she gets back and then okay. Moondy's like what was it was it was it anything and she's like no yeah. it was nothing. nothing they call him Tuesday that's what they've been calling him. Yeah, what, Tuesday. Or yes. she it's, it's gets on the planet. She fights. His older brother. Whenever you, you, you brother. whenever you take out your lightsaber, you're there to fight. Okay. Maybe she loses the fight and dies. Same thing with Soul. Soul by the end dies. She dies. Now, n- nobody's exposed. But you would have to do it where the long range communications never worked, or they were trying to establish yeah. it and it never got established, or May attacks Soul and breaks it, or maybe May smashes the console before. Uh, he could get the long range transmission out, but then why does she come to the planet? I, I yeah, communications know. are one of those like low, low level suspension oh. of disbelief because like cell phones ruin every movie ever. But I got it, I got it, I got it. Soul contacts the Jedi, but it's just her that gets the up. message, and she doesn't tell nobody else. And then she, she goes to the planet, up, yeah. and then then they both get fucked. Yeah. Okay, we got it. There it is for you. Um. Not confirmation yet that he's a Sith, only that the ignorant Jedi, in his point of view, would call him that. All right. Anyways, you want to watch some good saber battles, go watch Art of the Saber on YouTube. It's like a five-minute short. And Ryan vs. Dork Save Man. yourself some time and skip this one. Save stuff. yourself some time. So uh, if we're going by these ratings, we're averaging a 3.8 rating <laughs> right now on the Acolyte. <laughs> We'll see if these. But we're ramping up. Episodes. Oh, we get. We're if you only up. look at those last couple of episodes, yeah, like we are, we are about to hit thirty yeah. out of ten. We went, we went from a one <laughs> to a three to a six. Oh man. Okay, but I guarantee you, this is going to be the best episode of the series. It has to be. I, I don't have any confidence that it's going to get any better than this. So episode six is going to be the cover up, uh, and and then episode seven, we already know, same director of the flashback, so the it's flashback the flashback from another from point of view. And then finally, episode eight is the conclusion. And hopefully, Kamir, although I like his character, will get murdered by real Sith. And then hopefully, there's no season two. <laughs> People are watching this. Well, Leslie wants a season two, and she says, I want to do a season two of this. And I think I think we're getting a season two. Belma got a season if two. Bel- I was just about to say. Yeah. If Hate Belma watching. got a season two. Yeah. And hate watchers are are watching it. Um, then it's possible we're getting a season. Well, and then two. there's also the the. I mean, I don't even want to call it toxic positivity, but there is those group that just look for only the good in everything. They ignore absolutely dog shit writing all the time and just consume for the sake of consuming all times, every day, all day. Anything Disney I watch, and I ignore anything that's horrible and stupid that could be diminishing all my yeah. other things. And there's a lot more of those people that I think we give them credit for. That I mean, because they're in our comments, they're on Twitter, they're everywhere. Yeah. They're like, I think this is the greatest, most epic thing I've ever seen. It's like everyone. I don't see a lot of those comments for this one. I see the opposite, uh, and uh, and I think there are. Uh, a, a... I've seen some people like. They're yeah. like, oh, I love this show. Like, yeah. I'm not aware, Joe. What? They're not in our comments, thank God. What? No, not at all. I mean, but you have to go to, like, the Star Wars okay. subreddit. Yeah. Or you see it. I get, get sent screenshots oh. on Twitter and stuff. Like, oh, the people right. who are, like, the fans who only look for good stuff, period. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But for every one of that, there's one that, like, hates Star Wars anyway and even, wouldn't even give this episode credit for having cool shit in it just because it's garbage and trash. Uh, now... What would the fuck would they do in a season two? If they did a season two, you would have to touch because we are about to get into Phantom Menace in the next hundred years, less than a hundred years. So you would have to do, you would have to bring in Darth Tenebris, Darth Plagueis and Darth, you know, Sidious, maybe not Sidious, but those two you would have to touch on. So I don't want them to touch them. And, uh, and to say, well, maybe they'll learn from it. Halo got slightly better. They tried to slightly, learn shit, but uh, I, I, I wouldn't want to put that into, you know, is Rings of Power going to learn from Did from Picard learn one? in their season two? Did Picard, Picard did learn the eventually, season. but not into their season two. It got worse. It got worse. So there's the potential for this to get worse. So that's why we need to cut our losses with this one 
and give it an L and, and get out of here. Or season two is a prequel and we discover the roots and the backstory of Kamir. We actually get, get an acolyte. the acolyte show. Or that I would be for. Possible. Nothing but the witches. That could happen too. <laughs> He's actually closer <laughs> to being right than we are. Joe, if there's eight episodes of interpretive dance, you know that fucking triggers me. I we might get a my first negative two. <laughs> negative season, two each episode. We'll call it season of the witch. Why? Uh. Why? Because the power of one. Power of the two. power of two. The, the power, power of many. many. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys on the next episode. What episode six? We'll be back here. The power of any. <laughs> Bye.